What's going on guys? Welcome back to Clash of the Dark. Today we're over here in One Hive and check this out. This is amazing. We're going to be checking out some Legend League's attacks from two of the top four players in the world right now. As you can see, Raze from One Hive, Earth from One Hive, both in the top four on the world leaderboards and we're gonna be checking out their attacks as soon as they go live and we're gonna be following them through today's attacks and see what they're capable of we've seen both of these guys play in poland you may know that earth is also playing for the queen walkers who qualified last month to go to germany for the world championship and he is an amazing player we're also going to be catching gaku who also plays for the queen walkers and also plays for one hive so let's get into action here make sure you guys hit the like button hit the subscribe button let's do this all right, guys, here's an interesting matchup. We got Earth going against Dr. Muchtaba. Dr. Muchtaba was one of the top trophy pushers last season, and he was all over the leaderboards. Let's see if Earth can bring him down with the Queen Charge Hog attack. So coming in with the Wall Wrecker, and out comes a double Ice Golem and a Baby Dragon. That's going to freeze up everything and allow that Queen to push into this high, high damage area. Notice there are four Expos and the Queen that he's engaging all at the same time. That's a ton of damage, and this Queen is going to be struggling to stay live here the other ice golem pops the other expo down by 430 has disengaged and got off the queen the queen is able to take out the other expo and she's down to one expo firing on her she survived the heaviest part of the base here and she's beating on the wall to go into the 12 o'clock inferno he pops that earthquake that is normally meant to go for the town hall i think he's confident at this point that he's gonna have enough percentage to push this queen and get 50 percent before the hogs engage the town hall and he's not gonna need the earthquake there out comes the poison another rage there a couple hogs that go snipe off that archer tower that is being tanked by the queen and that's gonna get some damage off of her as she fights the cc she doesn't have any more rages so she needs to minimize the damage that is on her especially while she's fighting all those pups doesn't have any minions for those pups or at least doesn't have any that he can sneak in to close enough range to get any value out of them in come the hogs here they're going to wrap around the queen and keep the damage off of her so she should survive and move into cleanup she still has her ability so she can sweep in at the very end here and potentially save the raid if it comes to that so hogs working their way through staying inside of a heal spell every single hog is getting hit by every single heal look at the thin pathing around the base here he's going to be able to get huge value out of all of his heal spells he has one hog split across to the air sweeper and trips the giant bomb kind of lucking out there a freeze comes down to get him through the air to, or the in the town hall i mean and a couple more minions come out of the bottom here as the hogs are circling around caught in the tornado trap getting beat on by the king the minions draw some air skellies there and just complicate things that probably was more unhelpful than it was helpful last heal comes down going into the final inferno and bomb tower and wizard tower he has his warden still full health right there one more no two more hogs come in the backside to try snipe off that cannon are they gonna be able to get through it looks like they should and this is looking like a three star with 25 seconds on the clock he just needs to go to clean up here he has three swag balloons well not swag because he's gonna need them for cleanup here and the hogs hitting a couple giant bombs as they go into cleanup here with 15 seconds i think he's got it here earth bringing in the three star against dr mujtaba beautiful attack and that's how it's done in one hive check this out guys that attack just launched earth into first place in the world right there let's grab a screenshot of that because we need that for a thumbnail that's gonna be awesome right there earth crushing it and let's go see if we can catch some more of his attacks all right guys troops are all cooked for rays here i just checked into his camps there and he is ready to go as you can see the top players in the world we see that rays is currently in sixth place after a few minutes the other players over here have jumped over earth and taken over that number one spot again but now rays has a chance to take it back if he can get a three star on this attack here so let's go look at the clan list here and he should be going live any second now well, while we were waiting for Raze to go live, it looks like somebody attacked him and tripled him. So he's not going to be number one on the leaderboards, but we're still going to go check out some of his awesome attacks as soon as he does go live. 
There he is, now he's live. Looks like he's got an ice golem in front of a Sui hero and a wall wrecker. I think he's got an ice golem and a P.E.K.K.A. inside of that wall wrecker, if I remember right from what he was asking for in chat a moment ago. So, a couple of wizards down to help him funnel into the base here. The king comes down a little bit late. He's got his queen getting targeted by the town hall. Looks like he's got an E-drag and two balloons came out of the enemy CC. The queen's gonna take down the town hall but she's at low health now. So watch her health here. He has a rage down to per power his heroes through the base. He's got the P.E.K.K.A. and the Ice Golem that came out of the CC. That's going to freeze up the enemy CC. He pops his queen ability, and it looks like he's got a couple of hogs coming in from the top side there. But let's see how far this king can get as he's going to break out of the base and leave now and work his way up to the trash. So we got hogs coming in on the top side with the warden, working their way through the infernos. They got to work their way over to the eagle. This king ability is still intact. Don't forget about him as he's still working his way up and around ward ability as he fights off the enemy queen there with two skeleton spells and no rage on that the skeleton spells are going to take out the the enemy queen there and now the hogs are moving into the final inferno on the base he got one of the infernos on the entry with the sui heroes and look at the king going right through the center of the base there He's going to be able to get out in front and tank for those hogs. He has all those barbarians. He's got a couple wizards following him. Those party wizards do great on cleanup. And especially when they get behind that king, they're going to do some fantastic damage in that area to help everything move through. So he's got a couple balloons coming in from 7 o'clock, it looks like, that took out a cannon or whatever was over there. And plenty of hogs left. He's got more than enough with a minute left on the clock here. He's absolutely crushed it here. Ray's bringing in another three star and climbing back up higher on the leaderboards fantastic work there and a beautiful mass hog attack oh check this out we got gaku live now he's not quite as high on the leaderboards as these guys but gaku one of the star players from queen walkers who also plays in one hive a fantastic player and a nice treat to be able to watch this attack as he's going in with a queen charged lalun attack let's see what we can do here he's uh oh there he goes he's finally started he draws out the cc with a wall breaker and he has the queen drawing that CC all the way to the top. He has the healers down, the poisons and take care of those balloons. He's trying to pop that hound. There we go, popped, and he can collapse all of the pups into that poison. Okay, now he's got to work his way up into the heroes. He's got a lot of damage in that area. He's He knows that top corner is trapped and he's dropping some coca loons to try to find those black mines. He lures a black mine and it's going for his healers anyways. That's a little unfortunate and kind of annoying. His king comes down. He's going to fight off the enemy queen with that and get her down very, very quickly and protect his queen under this high, high damage area. Now he's got to take the town hall. And now what is he going to do after he takes the town hall? He only has wall breakers. He's got multiple... Uh, Multi-Infernals right there that he can't reach with the Queen. I'm not sure how he's going to make it out of this corner. Let's see what we can do here. So, he's going to be able to step up and take the Town Hall. A minute has already surpassed and he's only 11% into the attack here. So, making some slow progress through the base. Does he have enough punch to get through this and somehow still get a triple on this? Let's see. Alright, so working his way up. All right, he's got to make a decision now. How do you get into the Infernos? Or if he doesn't get in the Infernos and he wraps around them, then he's going to be in even more trouble because he's going to lose his healers and he's going to lose all the value. Here comes the wall breakers. He's hitting some giant bombs. He has extra wall breakers coming in. They go further down the wall and they get the wall break through the giant bomb right before it explodes. The queen wraps the wall, goes to the air sweeper first. He freezes the inferno and the air defense that's going to protect his healers as he takes down the inferno and the air defense. A baby dragon comes down to clear the trash and help that queen move forward. The eagle is now activated. He needs to get going with the Lalun. He's down to just over a minute left. Here comes the Lalun. Hounds down first. Only uh, both of them go to the same air defense up on the top side, going after that Inferno first. He rushes it with a haste and a freeze. He has the slammer tanking the other Inferno, the ha or the hounds, I mean, take over the tanking there. And that slammer is, or that uh, air defense, I mean, is down. The slammer and the warden ability are going to work together there to crush through the next part of the base there. A single Inferno on the bottom of the base isn't going to slow the balloons down too much. He freezes it anyways after it opens up his slammer working his way in look how much balloons are going over by the warden over at nine o'clock wow guys <laughs> i don't know how he did it 
I don't know how he did it, but he somehow has taken down all the defenses on the base. A huge minion and a pup swarm have gone over and joined with the warden there and taken out the last archer tower with 15 seconds to clean up. I think he's got it. He's just down to fighting the clock now. 10. Yeah, he's got it, guys. This is crushed. Gaku bringing in the three star against Kim Kim here in Legend League. All right, guys, I just noticed that Gaku's army is all ready. He should be going live here any second now. And let's see if he can bring in the three star and climb up into these Legend League leaderboards a little bit higher. There he is. He's live. Let's jump in. Going against Dr. Mujtaba. Dr. Mujtaba has lots and lots of accounts here. And let's see if Gaku can bring down this one. Earth just brought down one of Dr. Mujtaba's accounts earlier with a three star there. And let's see if Gaku can do the same. Going in with a queen charge, Lalu attack. He has the blimp selected. He might swap that out for a slammer. There he goes. He started up at two, no, one o'clock there with that queen charge. All right, what does he want to do here? What's he going after? He's going after the queen, obviously. He needs to make at least one wall break here to go in and get that queen. And then he can kind of maybe exit and then wrap around. I'm not sure where he wants to go with. He doesn't want to really go into that single inferno. He doesn't have any jumps or a, any earthquakes or anything to be able to get access all the way into that. He freezes up the queen and the two expos there. That's going to give that queen a chance to bring her down and not have to burn her ability. Very, very good there. And now he's going to be able to work his way forward, getting one of those expos down, relieving some of the damage. And a rage comes down as he steps into more damage here. He's going to have to get the Teslas down and then he works his way through the CC. Hound and... A double balloon come out. He's going to fight through the pups here. With that rage, he burns through the how, no problem. And then he's able to get that pup down to help clean up the pups. Or the minion to clean up the pups, I mean. If I can speak. All right, so where's this queen going to go? She's going to go through the wall. Ooh, this could be dangerous here. Look at the single infernal range right here. If she goes through the wall, she might step into that single infernal range and get roasted. This is a little dangerous right now. Is he going to lose his queen right here? He has three freezes. He can use a rage to be able to give her more time to work through the wall if she decides she wants to step forward. But she's going to stay just outside by the looks of it and beat on the next wall. And she's going into the channel. She's barely on the outside of that infernal range. And she's going into the channel. That'll give her access to the multi-inferno, the air defense, the eagle, and even can reach over to that single inferno if, he, if he's very careful with it. So he needs to have those freezes ready but the eagle might be activating soon and he's already down to a minute and 15 on the clock he has to start the lawland he's running out of time and running out of options he doesn't even have percentage on the town hall yet he's gonna need a lucky activation here he freezes the inferno to protect that queen he gets the sweepers down she's gonna step up and take the inferno he's over to the town hall he has some pups the pups activate the town hall he freezes it the warden is gonna be able to warden through that town hall and he is gonna be able to move into the bottom of the base here 50 seconds seconds left tons of base left here the queen beat on another wall not a good one either going after the clan castle and getting distracted by some ground skill he's there he's got the rest of the balloons all clumped up there he has a rage he gets it down and pushes those balloons through the bottom of the base and now he's into the final stretch here with 30 seconds left to go and one haste he still has the balloons in his slammer he's got the queen finally broke out she's gonna go over and join but she's going to go right back to walls here, I think, unless she can just go over and work on cleanup. No, she's going to have to be through a wall. Another wall. She's getting stuck on wall after wall after wall. And is he going to make it through here? Uh, One more haste. I'm surprised he hasn't used a haste yet. The baby dragon is in there helping as well. I didn't even see that baby dragon go down. And he's going to end it right here at 95% had enough to get through the base here needed another five or ten seconds to bring it down there nice try gaku is very close all right guys earth is in let's see what we can do he's starting off here with a queen charge and he's probably gonna have to go towards the town hall he is pushing that way Let's see what he does here. The queen is going to have to take out the enemy queen, the town hall. He's got a lot of expos and cannons that are going to fire it on him the entire way. That's going to be some heavy damage, and he's going to only have two rages for this. So does he have enough punch to make it through? Let's see what he does here. The wall wrecker is going to get out in front of that queen, tanking some of the defenses. He's going to need a rage here. A little late on that rage. He pops his ability to stay alive, and he does stay alive, but he's wasted his queen ability, and he still has to get through the enemy king 
king and the enemy queen. So his heroes are down here working together. Now the king is down with a couple of wizards to push in and take out the enemy king. The ice golems come out of the CC. Notice that baby dragon took a black bind and that's going to protect his healers as he wraps up towards town hall. Luckily, his healers are safe right here as he makes his approach. The ice golems are going to pop and protect his queen. He still has that rage there. He never used that second rage and he's going to be able to use that somewhere else there to protect that queen or maybe for the hogs. The hogs are going to be able to move much quicker under that rage and have a chance to get through this base that is not thinned out at all. All he did was cleared one edge and it is now a giant block of defenses that the hogs are going to have a really difficult time moving through. Let's see what he can do here. Hitting a couple giant bombs on the entry. Uh, uh, early heal comes down to get him through the bomb tower and those giant bombs. He takes eagle shots. He wardens his, uh, through those eagle shots and he works into the core of the base here. The queen's still doing good work on the outside. Let's see what they can do here. Hogs take the eagle with their rage and they're going to spread out and can they get the, the infernos? It's going to be critical if they can get the infernos and... Ooh, they're falling a little bit short on the 9 o'clock Inferno. They spread over towards the Queen, and he gets a heal down to help out there, but the Warden statue, doing crazy amounts of damage, is able to stand, and that might be the death of this raid here. Looks like some balloons pulled a black mine that is crossing the base and going after his healers, and the Warden is attacking his healers as well. This is going to be close, but not quite going to be a three star. Nice job by Earth here, really making a solid adjustment with the troops that he had. And that's the most difficult thing about Legend League is you don't get a custom army. You have to figure out a way to beat the base with whatever you have. And the Queen Charge Hog attack is pretty versatile. But when he has to charge into the town hall and can't get into the core of the base, then it makes it very difficult to get good hog pathing. And that's what he ran to here he's gonna come up with a 93 percent time fail or maybe just straight up fail but either way that's gonna be it for today guys hope you enjoy these attacks here and we're gonna continue to cheer on earth and raise and gaku here as they push the leaderboards but that's it for today guys make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one